I was thinking about how many different places we lived in Vancouver before we got into the co-op. We've been living in the co-op for 35 years, but for our first 15 or 20 years of marriage, we moved from one address to another, to another, to another. We lived in the East End, we lived in the West End. My first experience was 20 years ago this year um, when I moved into a co-op. It's really just helped me grow and to really understand the value of community living. My first experience with co-op uh, was when I was 25 years old and the only reason I got into a co-op was because of my father who's disabled. Uh, we were all living in a one-bedroom apartment and um, it almost took me f uh, eight months to find a place uh, before we actually got into a cooperative housing. Uh, I moved about a month ago and honestly it's been the biggest blessing uh, for my family. I'm a single mom and with uh, two little ones and I've been on the BC housing waitlist for about five years. And when I got in, there was no doubt in my mind that that was where I was meant to be with my kids. I ain't moving for another 20 plus years. <laughs> I moved in here with my parents uh, back in 97. My lifestyle kind of revolves around uh, the Tamil Co-op now. You know, everything's here. Everything's home from here. Lo and behold, January 31st, which was the day I had to leave the rented premises I was in and couldn't afford to continue to stay there, um, I had a place to live and here I am in Rail Yard Co-op and it's fabulous. I'm so excited about the future here. It, it fills my heart with joy to know that I have a home. I've been quite um, blessed to be part of this community, a community where I can serve and a community where I can learn. One of the beautiful things about raising my kids in the co-op is how much they learn about civic engagement. So my daughters have learned a lot about how to be involved in the wider community through our time here. Le, la formule d'habitation en coopérative soit une formule privilégiée par l'État pour investir, pour euh, redonner à la communauté, pour faire en sorte que chacun des citoyens canadiens ait un toit, une sécurité euh, à juste prix. Donc la formule coopérative, on pense qu'on peut devenir des leaders euh, en ce sens-là à travers le Canada. The land we're on here, Windmill Line Co-op, some of the other co-ops, one of the first ones built was the Woodsworth Housing Cooperative. Uh, and that was sponsored by the Co-op Housing Federation of Toronto. All of this was city-owned land. And so much as we cooperated locally to try to lobby our municipal government, give us access to public land, and to learn from each other and consolidate our resources, I think we, we did a good job. But in part, we did a good job because we were also learning from each other across the country. And I think that's always been one of the strengths of the cooperative housing movement in Canada and I hope it continues. See, in 1973, 74, when the housing co-ops got started, at least in Toronto, there were only up and coming leaders. We were all in our early 20s. And so the entire co-op movement, the developments, were all young people who were trying to figure out how to do something. We were essentially social justice activists who were looking at the co-ops and housing as something that they could really make a difference in people's lives, could really was a way to, to, to break new ground. You know, I'm sure there are people that were like, these, you know, these individuals are really young. Like, you know, do they possess the, you know, the skill or experience to, um, you know, get these things done at a professional level? At the end of the day, we are young, we are, you know, learning, but at the same time, we do have, like, amazing guidance. So you, it, we don't ever feel like we're alone. And I think that's part of being a, a part of a co-op as well. Having participated in a co-op and having made big decisions um, that impact a lot of people, I'm like, you know what, I am smart enough to do this. I have the tools and I am more than capable of accomplishing whatever it is that I want. And I think that confidence is really important to kind of, um, it resonates in every other part of my life. I think that the feu of the cooperation is more powerful because we've passed des épreuves. Rien n'est facile, rien n'est acquis. Sauf que le mouvement existe par lui-même. Alors, il faut toujours faire en sorte que le mouvement puisse se nourrir de, de ses meilleurs éléments au niveau de, de la flamme. Et ça n'en prend pas beaucoup, mais ça prend des... Euh, tu sais, ça prend comme un, un, un phare, un, un objet dans lequel on dit oh, « ces gens-là, ils croient ». Alors, euh, on peut les suivre, mais ils croient dans le bon sens du terme. Là. 
c'est à la manger la flamme. I see a very positive movement happening now where people are saying, let's expand cooperative housing. And I really believe that is going to be a solution for a lot of people, young and old. The reason I'm so hopeful that um, we will realize our ambitions and our potential uh, in this new era of growth is that co-op members have never thought just of themselves. Uh, they've always said co-op housing is a great thing. It's doing wonderful things for me and for my family. And now we have to make sure that opportunity is made available to people who don't yet have a co-op to call home. My wish is that we come up with more innovative ways to kind of incorporate the co-op models into either, whether it be existing um, structures or ones that don't even exist. I want us to kind of think outside the box. This was a, a vacant piece of land. Brand new homes are, are being built. And so it just adds to the diversity of what we're able to do at the Land Trust of not just build new homes like you see here, but it adds to that mixture of basically acquiring existing stock and also renovating or redeveloping uh, the existing housing stock as well. I've been looking to move into co-op housing for um, almost two decades since I moved to Vancouver. I used to live in a co-op actually many years ago and I loved it. I loved the um, camaraderie and the community participation. It was just kind of a fluke that I happened to be looking for housing at a time when I saw an ad for uh, this co-op. I didn't even know that this co-op was going up and lo and behold, uh, here it is in a fantastic area and I feel really lucky to have the opportunity to live here. CH of Canada has always been there. Uh, to fight for its members and to get an outcome that's in their best interest. And if CH of Canada hadn't done that, no one would have. To have a true pan-Canadian renaissance uh, in the co-op housing movement, CH of Canada will have to be front and center. Little over 42 years ago, people like Helga Weiler and Frank Weiler and the other founding members of this co-op, they saw something. They saw that this could be a place to raise a family. They saw that this could be a safe space for university students and for artists and for all kinds of other people to live and to build a life. And because they had that vision, we're here. My daughters can be raised in this safe, amazing community where my neighbors taught them to tie their shoelaces and to ride bikes. And so for me, thinking about um, our, our cities and about our sector, I want us to continue to vision in that way. How can we make something that is bigger than ourselves and that goes on beyond us and creates a space for other people to dream new dreams and have new amazing ideas that we haven't even thought of yet?